Let's go. We got Upward Jedi here for the first official video ever on this channel. And I thought, why not start with one of the most hated character in all of Star Wars? And this is kind of going to be my trend for this week. Hated characters. So every week, I'm going to just pull out a lightsaber that I have, and we're just going to break it down. And we're going to talk about the hilts, the inspiration for getting the hilts, uh, what inspired my collection. If you don't know my backstory on what made me get on YouTube, that's in the previous video. But what inspired specifically for me getting this hilt that I'm talking about today is just rage. The, the, the hate boner that so many people had, I thought I have to have this hilt. So without further ado, it's like you haven't seen the title already, is the Ray Hilt. But not, not just any Ray Hilt. This is considered to be the most accurate representation of the Ray Hilt. It even has these like special heat stained fins that open up like in the movie. It's really cool. But this is the KR Sabres, AKA the Dennis Lukianov Scavenger. <laughs> I really should have scripted this video. I think it's called the scavenger. Um, there'll be links to all this below if you want to pick the saber up for yourself. And not only is this saber really special to me because I thrive off of hatred and this character's popularity, if you want to even call it that, is mostly um, due to the hatred of the character. It's either the angry feminists that want to you know, stick it to all men, picking up this hill, or somebody like me, who just enjoys making people uncomfortable uh, picking up the hill. And this is like one of probably the most intricate hilt I own. So this hilt has so many moving parts. You see all these little fins here, like all these are moving parts. The, this like twist system, like in the movie, all moving parts. And it has been weathered masterfully by a company called Multiverse Props. And they're out of the United Kingdom. Second, and whoa, a little preview there for one of the fonts that I have on here. But um, yeah, just enjoy it. Just, just look at the wrap. Look at the niceness of this hill, the high quality, crazy design. Boom. And as you guys heard there to switch fonts on this one, because this is a fully installed hill. Some of my hills are will not be installed yet but like I'm, I'm getting to it. This one has the 28 millimeter bass speaker. This one has the Profi board. This one has the, it's essentially the kit that you can get from KR Hilts. I'm like out of frame a lot too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The, the, the struggles of the first video. But uh, so the switch font, you kind of hold. Boom. So it's like a three second hold on there. Not and then that's just for a battery indicator. And then that's the, uh, yeah. Don't yeah. me. I'm gonna do this. Gotta have a Vader font, iconic. Ray Skywalker. And then the one you were probably most here for. So let's go ahead and put a blade in this and see how it looks. We leave everything in because we do it out in real time. As if you were to have this hilt, how long would it take you to get a blade in? So first we have to take out what's called the blade plug. And that kind of goes in there and protects the uh, the PCBs that are on the inside. The pins, I guess you would say. You don't want those to get all dusty and, and nasty and not working. So you put this in. Boom. Tight fit. And then... You screw in, there's like a little flat head screw on the side. You guys probably can't see it in the video. And then, make nice. Boom. Iconic, legendary, golden. And we're done. So let me know what you guys think about this hilt, this saber in general. Would you guys get one? If so, why? What do you think about the character Ray and her potentially coming back? This saber was in the movie for three seconds, but trust me, it stole my heart. Upward Jedi signing out.